Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I'm back with Halloween, and um, I actually managed to uh, go ahead and get all my uh, <clears throat> all my decorations up. Uh, I got the Ace Day of the Dead from Dollar Tree. I got them last year. I did see a couple this year. This is actually really fun. It's a pumpkin, and it's uh, purple with lace on it, and a little spider. And this I got this year over at Dollar Tree. Um, I also got the apothecary sign over there. And so I think it's really fun and really colorful. So I'm uh, uh, liking my Halloween decorations, and it goes with the collection that we're looking at today, and that's going to be the Wet and Wild and the Nightmare Before Christmas. And so this is available on Wet n Wild, also over at Ulta. And I think it just got over to Ulta right now. As far as what I went ahead and started with today, um, I did go ahead and start with the Elf Bronzing Drops and the Rose Gold. And let's see. And um, the, it's uh, the Essence and now I can't find it. Um, it's the Essence Filter, the Magic Filter in light. And so it just gives you a little bit of glow. And I went ahead and mixed that with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. And this one I actually picked up yesterday. I got it in light and I had had it in fair. Um, it has squalane and hyaluronic acid and it's one of these really moisturizing formulas. And it felt um, it just feels really good on the skin. It feels like you're getting a lot of moisture. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the bronzer was the NYX, and this is the Buttermilk and the Buttercup. And so that's this one. And then um, what went ahead and did uh, for the cheeks is going to be the Wet n Wild. And this is... Um, part of uh, lip and cheek. So any of these you can go ahead and use for lip and cheek. Um, I did go ahead and put this one on the cheeks today and then I did uh, this one on the lips and they're just so fun because they have the characters actually printed on them so they're they're fun to look at and so there's something that you want to pick up. So that's kind of nice. and. Um, Good packaging, very good packaging. Um, as far as what I, uh, what else I did on the eyes, I went ahead and used the Essence Make Me Brow and Brown, and then two of the Essence mascaras, and ah, everything went fallen. Yeah, the Call Me Queen, <laughs> and uh, and uh, let's see, the Essence Volume Stylist in the 18 Hour Wear, so I put on this. And then this one's a tubing mascara. You put on a little of it at the end. And um, right before this one dries, and it gives you a little bit longer lashes. So that's what I did there. I think everything's done falling off here. Um, yeah, everything fell off the table and kind of, well, anyway. So I did go ahead and use the Metaglow. It's a lip gloss over the top here. And again, I had these two on. And then I did go ahead and use the uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas as far as my eye palette today. Um, it does go pretty cool toned, but you can, as you can see, uh, you can get a warm toned look with it. I'll be back with the cool toned look, but um, I did go kind of warmer today. And uh, these three shades right here I'll look pretty gold, but they're going to be different. This is going to be a light gold, this one's a darker gold, and this one's green. And uh, But they do look pretty much the same in the pan. So um, as far as what I actually have on the eye today, I did this one in the crease, this one in the outer corner. Then um, on the outer, or pardon me, on the in our half of the lid, I went ahead and did uh, some of this darker gold and some of the lighter gold. And then on the outer part of the lid, I did the green. I did go ahead and put this glitter, which is really pretty duochrome. It goes uh, yellow to green. 
and yellow, green, and orange. And so I put that all over the lid. Um, I did go ahead and use one of the Enride eyeliners. And then I also used some of this green as well as far as an eyeliner here. And um, I think the, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, didn't have any problem with this formula. And uh, there are two glitters. This is a glitter, and this is also a glitter in this. Uh, and again, it looks like it's going to go really cool tone. But like I said, I did manage to get a warm tone look out of it. I will be back with the cool tone look. But this way that it worked out. So again, I think it worked out really pretty. I did go ahead and use a beauty pie. And uh, this is going to be what I have on as far as uh, my finishing powder today. And other than that, and the stuff falling on the floor, um, I think that's probably the whole video today. And I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.